Five years ago today, Denver 7 decided to step outside of our local news comfort zone and try something new. So many of you, our viewers, would ask, how can we help some of the people featured in some of our stories? And we were in a unique position to help. Denver 7 Gives was born out of that simple idea. And as Denver 7's Russell Haythorn shows us, our nonprofit is making a difference, not only for those on the receiving end, but also among the givers. It's often said we rise by lifting others. Wow! An expression that perfectly embodies the mission behind Denver 7 Gives. When you give, it just feels good. Denver 7 Gives started five years ago this month as a news initiative. The founders in our newsroom were hoping would make a small difference in the world beyond simply reporting on the story. The idea was we tell all these stories that are so heartbreaking and then we just walk away from them. It just never felt like we were doing anything actionable. It just became really evident that we needed to be that instrument to help people. That's former Denver 7 Assistant News Director Kirsten Boyd, who helped launch Denver 7 Gives along with retired Denver 7 News Director Holly Gaunt, who we caught up with via Zoom from her new home in South Carolina. But it goes all the way back for me to the Oklahoma City bombing. I happened to be there when that happened. The mayor and people in the city saying we desperately need gloves and boots and picks and shuttles. The line of cars was so long that we had to have three different police officers come and help people get through it. It's that kind of generosity Denver 7 was hoping to capture with Denver 7 Gives. And I think it came down to people wanted to help and we were like, aren't we in a position to help? So on behalf of Denver 7 Gives and our incredibly generous viewers, we'd like to present Foothills Animal Shelter with $7,000. What it has become Thank you guys. is beyond anyone's wildest expectations. How could we have known in 2019 of the summer what would happen eight months later? The need just went berserk. $5 donation, a $10 donation. Started with $500 for this campaign, $1,000 from this campaign, and then it grew into the wildfire fund of $700,000. All through the generosity of Denver 7 viewers, <laughs> like Fred and Diane Kissel. My core belief is that we're on this earth to help each other. We both come from large families. And large families, if they're a good family, they work together, they help each other. The Kissels have given nearly $2,000 to roughly 20 different campaigns, in part because of the pain of their own past. I had a real hard life and, and for many years I was a single mother with four teenagers. I would never have made it without the help of others. I have no more money for groceries and I'd come home and my porch would be full of of groceries somebody dropped off. The same is true for Donna Liebhard. My husband passed away about 30 some years ago and I lost my job we were working together and I had a couple of friends who set up what would be considered a GoFundMe page nowadays. And I got enough money to tide me over. I have a lot of empathy for anybody who has to go through troubling times. She has donated to more than a dozen Denver 7 Gives campaigns. Been doing it for a long time, but never a large amount, which maybe is the point. You don't have to give a lot. Pretty much I'm living on Social Security and, you know, my life is good. I have no complaints. We want to take care of your rent for the next eight months. What? Denver 7 viewers also take comfort in knowing every single dime donated through Denver 7 Gives is going to help those in need. Because unlike other nonprofits, Denver 7 and the Scripps Foundation absorb all overhead. People who donate to Denver 7 Gives, they know that absolutely every penny is going there. Because the news side covers the cost of all of that other administrative stuff. Informative news, making a difference in our community. It was just born out of our desire to want to help. It's beautiful. I'm so happy. For Denver 7 Gives. It's just one very small gesture. We're using our powers for good to try to help. I'm Russell Haythorn. I think it makes a big difference for people watching the news. Never get sick of seeing those no, those big jigs go so out. So happy, and and we thought it would be a little bit of fun today on this anniversary to relive some of our favorite Denver Seven Gives moments over these last five years. So. It's okay, I'll go first. Mine in 2022, our generous viewers stepped in to help a Boulder County 
Girl Scout troop impacted by the Marshall Fire. They couldn't go door to door selling cookies after the fire destroyed the homes and neighborhoods of several of the girls. So they set up cookie booths outside of stores in the Louisville area to try to meet a smaller goal. And then Denver 7 gives viewers stepped in. Denver 7 would like to place an order for cookies. Oh. We would like to order $5,000 worth what? of cookies. <laughs> Are you what do you think? Never gets old seeing them jump up and down. We eventually donated uh, those cookies to the first responders in the area. I definitely remember that one, and I just loved seeing their they smiles just clap and, and they're excitement. so happy. Yeah. All right, so here is my favorite memory from Denver 7 Gives. Our viewers helped the family of a young girl who needed a heart transplant. I met the Grego family last year when their car was stolen near Children's Hospital, and y'all helped raise $8,000 to help with their expenses. We followed their story nearly a year later. Two-year-old Crystal was finally able to get the heart transplant that she needed, and her recovery went better than expected. She's now home from the hospital. That's not the correct video of cute little Crystal, but uh, I hope you guys remember that one. She was such a doll. Absolutely. Just so much good and such a big thank you from all of us here for all of those donations throughout the last five years.